Hi, my name is Teddy. Today, we are going to learn all about the members of the solar system. So let's get started, shall we? What is the solar system? The solar system is a collective name for the sun, together with the groups of celestial heavenly bodies that are held in its gravity and revolve around the sun. Can you tell me what are the members of the solar system? Let's identify it one by one. Here are the members of the solar system. The sun, comets, meteoroids, meteor, meteor shower, meteorites, asteroids, the planets, and dwarf planets. Let's talk about these one by one. The sun is a star. It is a huge ball of hot gases with a temperature of around 15 million degrees Celsius at the center and 5,000 degrees Celsius at the surface. That was really, really hot. It is also the center of the solar system. As a matter of fact, it is the largest object in the solar system. But it is only a middle-sized yellow star. What are comets? Comets are made up of dust and rock particles mixed with frozen water, methane, and ammonia. It actually looks like this on the space. And here are the parts of the comets. Meteoroids. These are pieces of dust and rocks that break from comets nucleus. What do you think is the difference between meteoroids and meteor? A meteor is a burning rock that enter the Earth's atmosphere. Well, if a meteoroid enter the Earth's atmosphere, you can now call it a meteor. On the other hand, when more meteors are seen in the atmosphere, it is called meteor shower. But if the meteor reaches the Earth's surface, on land or on water, it is now called meteorites. What about asteroids? Asteroids is also known as planetoids. These are small pieces of rocks and metals that orbit around the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. What about planets? The planets are also members of the solar system. The solar system has eight planets. It is classified into terrestrial in Jovian planets. The planets in the solar system are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And the last member of the solar system are the dwarf planets. They are too small to be considered as planets. That is why they are called dwarf planets. Pluto and Ceres was considered dwarf planets of the solar system. There are several theories that explains how planets form. Some of these are nebular theory. According to the nebular theory, the sun and planets are formed from a rotating disk of dust and gases. A nebula is a cloud of gas and dust in space. And after a very, very long time, they will form heavenly bodies.
planets are classified as terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. Terrestrial planets are also called the inner planets. Let's talk about the inner planets. These are Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun. Its surface has many craters because it has no atmosphere. Mercury has no moons. One rotation of Mercury is equivalent to 58 days, 15 hours, and 30 minutes. However, it requires 88 days in one revolution on the Sun. That is why it is considered as the fastest planet. Venus It is the second planet from the Sun. Aside from the Sun, Venus is the brightest object in the sky. Venus is commonly referred to as the morning and evening star. It is also considered as the twin planet of the Earth. Venus is known as the hottest planet because of its very thick atmosphere made up of carbon dioxide. The layer of carbon dioxide drops heat and result to greenhouse effect sending temperatures of 482 degrees Celsius. And because of that, the clouds of Venus are mostly sulfuric acid which gives Venus a yellow-white color. All the rains in Venus are acid rain. The surface of Venus has faults and volcanoes. Venus is the Earth's closest neighbor. It was the first planet to be studied with space in 1962. Venus has no moons and the gravity is as strong as the Earth. A rotation of Venus requires 116 days and 18 hours. However, its revolution requires 225 days. Venus rotation is very slow, that it only rotates two times in one year. The Earth Earth is known as the living planet. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It is the only living planet where life exists. Earth is rich in liquid water that supports life. It has atmosphere that supports and protects life. Earth's atmosphere burns most of the meteors before they reach the Earth's surface. The Earth has one large moon. Earth's rotation requires 23 hours and 56 minutes. And a one complete revolution of the Earth takes 365 and one fourth days. Mars Mars is known as the red planet. Its surface appears red yellow because of iron oxide in the soil and dust that covers most of the planet. Mars has 18 atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, small amounts of oxygen and nitrogen. Mars has water in its atmosphere, but not enough to condense and form clouds. Days on Mars are almost the same on Earth. A Mars rotation requires 24 hours and 37 minutes, while it requires 687 days to complete a one revolution. Mars was once believed to have water. The largest volcano in the solar system is also found in Mars. It is called Mount Olympus Mons.
Mars gravity is two fifth as strong as the Earth. Mars has two irregularly shaped moons. It is called Phobos and Dimas. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are called terrestrial planets because they have rocky surfaces and metal cores. Now what are these things between Mars and Jupiter? These are group of asteroids. This is called asteroid belt. An asteroid belt is found between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt separates the terrestrial planets and the Jovian, or gas, giants. Let's talk about the outer planets. These planets are known as gas giants. These are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These is Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest gaseous planet in our solar system. It is more than 11 times the size of Earth. The great mass of Jupiter enables it to generate very strong gravitational force. Jupiter is a gaseous planet. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia, and water vapor. Did you know that Jupiter has a very small, faint dust rings around it? Jupiter has at least 63 moons. Four moons were first observed by Galileo Galilei and was named Galilean moons. Some of the moons of Jupiter are Ganymede, Callisto, Europa, and Io. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. It is actually bigger than Mercury. Moon Io has an active volcano, while Callisto has water made mostly of rocks and ice. Did you observe this spot in planet Jupiter? This is called Jupiter's Great Red Spot. It is actually a counterclockwise rotating storm. Jupiter's rotation requires 9 hours and 56 minutes. And Jupiter requires 12 years to complete a revolution around the Sun. Saturn Saturn is the second largest planet but has the lowest density. It is nine and a half times larger than the Earth. Its rotation requires 10 hours and 39 minutes. It requires 29 years to complete a revolution around the Sun. Saturn is a gaseous planet. It has a thick atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, methane, and some water vapor. Saturn has at least 31 moons. And the largest moon of Saturn is called Titan. Uranus. It is also called the sideways planet. Uranus is the third largest planet with a system of 11 thin dark rings. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, and some methane, which gives the planet a bluish green color. Uranus radiates the same amount of solar energy it receives. Uranus' axis of rotation is tilted at 84 degrees on its side. The result is 
its North Pole faces the Sun for one half of 84 years revolution. Uranus requires 17 hours and 14 minutes in every rotation. And to complete a revolution around the Sun, it requires 84 years. Uranus gravity is a little stronger than of the Earth. It has at least 21 moons. The largest moon of Uranus is called Titania. Neptune It is the windy planet, or also called as a storm planet. Neptune is the fourth largest planet. Neptune has an elliptical orbit. Its atmosphere is made up of methane, which gives the bluish-green color. Neptune has a dark-colored storm. It is called Great Dark Spot. Neptune has the fastest winds in the solar system. It has at least 11 moons. The largest moon of Neptune is called Triton. Neptune's rotation requires 16 hours and 6 minutes. And to complete a one revolution around the Sun, it requires 165 years. And these are the Jovian planets or the four gas giants. Can you enumerate the planets of the solar system by which is the closest and the farthest planet from the Sun? Let's say it one by one. Now let's talk about the dwarf planets. Some of the examples of dwarf planets are Pluto and Ceres. Pluto was considered the ninth planet until 2006. The discovery of Cooper Belt that lies beyond the orbit of Pluto reclassified it into a member of dwarf planet. Ceres Ceres is considered as the largest asteroid orbiting between Mars and Jupiter. It has self-gravity, which makes it round and qualify as dwarf planet. Now let me ask you a question. What do you call a person that studies the heavenly bodies? Comment down your answer below and let's find out if you were right. 